Well, good morning. You know what? Today, I guess, is the 21st of July of the year 2023. Now, it's the middle of the summertime. So it ought to be hot. Well, it's kind of hot here. 106, 107. Not much out of the ordinary, though, for this time of year. I don't know why everybody complains. Of course, it's all about that big money and everything. But I was thinking about how all this stuff is, uh, oh, it's either, either or. Either you're an environmentalist or you're an anti-environmentalist. Either you're <laughs> a Republican or you're a Democrat. If you ain't neither of them, as far as the government concerned, you don't exist. So, I don't know. But I was talking last time about segregation. And you know, if you look back in history, nature, segregation is the key to success of all the animals. Now, the deer and the elk, they don't go down and try to live in the middle of the wolves and the coyotes. No, they grow long legs and they live other places and they get so they can kind of avoid the wolves and the coyotes. Well, that's the same way with ducks and geese. They try to avoid them guys with shotguns and stuff. Well, if you look back, there's been a big stink about the Ten Commandments. Oh, they, we can't have Ten Commandments. Can't have them anywhere. They, it's a government thing. We can't do that. Uh, that's pushing religion on people. Well, to one extent, it is. Except church property, private property, and stuff should be considered as government business. Uh, the government, you check out that constitution, you check out them other things. Now you go back, we'll talk about the Ten Commandments for a minute. You go back and you get to them Egyptians, and you get to them uh, Hebrews, and the Jewish people, and the Twelve Tribes, or other, I can't remember the name. Jews, Judah was just one tribe. There was Benjamin, there was a whole bunch of them. Twelve. Anyway, they were the slaves and Egypt, as the story goes. Now, when Moses, he wandered off across the desert, he got over there by that big mountain, whatever it was. He got religion. He lived there for 40 years. He got religion, and God talked to him in the mountain. He went up there, and he gave him these Ten Commandments. And over a period of time, he also gave him all the law of Moses. Leviticus, Deuteronomy, whatever back there in the Old Testament. So, now he went down and he went over to Egypt and he talked with the Pharaoh and they had their rook to do and all and they went across and the Egyptians. They finally let, them, let the Hebrews go. The tribe, 12 tribes of Israel and they went off he, they opened the waters of the Red Sea and they crossed over and I guess the Egyptian army got stuck in the bottom of the ground. I don't know, I don't know why stuff, but that's the way the story goes. Well, you know, the law of Moses, with the Ten Commandments, was given to the children of Israel. It wasn't given to the Egyptians. It wasn't given to the Midianites. It wasn't given to uh, whatever other people was out there running around at that time. Because old uh, Abraham had kids. Lot had kids and everything. And it was only the 12 sons of that uh, Jacob feller that wound up down in Egypt. See, so there's a lot of people. And that was very segregated, and that law of Moses with them Ten Commandments was only for that one group. Okay? So the rest of them didn't have to worry about it. 
Now you go down, you come through, you get to the time when Christ comes in the New Testament. Uh, he went, he taught just to the Jews, and there was some of the tribe of Benjamin there too. But that's all he, he didn't go to the Gentiles. That was everybody except the Jews and the Benjamin, two people that was there from the tribe of Israel. All the rest of the tribe of Israel was gone. But anyway, so that went to him. Now Christianity came down from there. And if you check, Christianity is only for those people who read, learn, accept, and choose to be baptized into the Christian religion. And when they choose to do that, they choose to obey the commandments of the Christian religion. They choose. It's not forced upon them. It's not like uh, going out here and joining some gang or that. It's not uh, have that gang initiation and everything. You're forced to do stuff. Okay, so we go through there and we come down. Now there's been a big problem. The Catholics, the Protestants, all of these, the followers of Islam in a lot of the cases, uh, especially the fanatical branches, they all try to force their beliefs onto everybody. Well, atheists don't have to follow those, any of those beliefs. Wiccans. They can pick and choose what beliefs they want to follow. Uh, people, there was a movie, something about the Cleveland Indians many years ago. And there was a big black guy from out in the islands that he liked voodoo, but he also liked Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, see, now you got to be careful what you think about this. And in the United States, that's the whole meaning of liberty. Individual, personal liberty. You've got your thought processes, you've got your personal uh, agenda, you've got your personal religion. I don't care what you're, if you're an atheist, that is your religion. See? It's simple. Now, that's what we're supposed to do. The Christians just can put up their Ten Commandments signs, but it ain't for everybody to follow. Uh, the Muslims can have their, I think it's five prayers a day. Well, they should be able to have a place where they can go, not stop traffic and stuff, and be able to pray unbothered, not bothered by anybody else. Should be secure and safe. Uh, same way with all the other things. The Wiccans, they want to go out in the forest somewhere and dance around naked, uh, pray to the trees or something. That's right, they can do it. See, that's just like all this LGBT stuff and all this other. That homosexual stuff is strictly in according to various religions. And in the religion of the people that practice that LGBT and these different things, in their religion, it's fine and dandy. Well, that is fine because it's between them and nature. Natural laws of nature. And the natural laws of nature are the laws of their God. So, let's just try to get along together. Let's be peaceable and loving. Let's run commerce in a good way, trade, this. Uh, if you want certain things, go to where people will willingly and happily provide for an appropriate amount of money. Okay? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I ask God to bless everybody. See you again.